Hey guys, Grady here. Today, I'm going to discuss a very, very serious problem that's a problem for you, but it's not a problem for me. A lot of people who live in the country below Canada and throughout the rest of America seem to have a real problem with illegal immigration. It's like so bad, you know, if people, you know, come over without permission, huh? That's, you know, that, that makes me think. Oh, um, let me think. What year was it? Um, who was that guy? Oh, yeah, Christopher Columbus. What year was that? Oh, yeah, it was 1492. He came over without permission, him and a whole bunch of other people. They stole everything, took everything over, blew everything up. So, yeah, you know, illegal immigration, that's a problem for you. But it's not a problem for me. The reason why it's not a problem for me is because... We're all illegal immigrants. I don't care. I really do not care what you guys say. Oh, well, the system says otherwise. The system was set up by illegal immigrants. It was. It was set up by illegal immigrants. But that's not a problem for me. Because I figured that that was what... I, I've always known that that's what happened. That is literally what happened. The system was set up by illegal immigrants. Do doesn't it bother you guys that, you know, your parents lied to you and said, oh yeah, we're not immigrants, unless you're partially Native American, regardless of which country in America the tribe comes from, but unless you're partially Native American or fully Native American, just shut your mouth about immigration. Seriously, shut your mouth. Shut the heck up about illegal immigration because that's exactly what you are you're just too afraid to admit it and you know if you just if you're too afraid to admit it and you just don't care this is a huge problem it is it's a very huge problem it is such a huge problem for you and for me it's a huge problem for me if you don't admit it i don't you know you you really don't think you're an immigrant? Like, really? You really think that you're here legally? You really think you're not an immigrant? You're, you're, you're incorrect. The, re the, first, the first Americans were black aboriginals. And over time, they evolved to have a somewhat lighter skin tone. But never did any American evolve to be white. Not one. Not a true American. False Americans are white. And f modern, modern false Americans are white and black. The people who are black now, most likely they're not related to, you know, the, abori the American aboriginals, like the people who were here from the very beginning. Those people who came thousands and thousands of years ago, the first humans on the continent from Nunavut down to Chile. They're probably not related to those people. But it's the same, it's the same thing, you know, you guys like, are really concerned. Why, why are you so concerned if you're, an, if you're, why are you so concerned about illegal immigration if you're an illegal, seriously, I don't understand what your problem is. I don't understand where you're coming from, I never will. I'll listen to what you have to say, but I will never understand where you're coming from. That's a huge problem for you, but it's not a problem for me. And the reason why it's not a problem for me is because we've always been living this lie. And that's not ever gonna change. It's not, okay? It's not. I mean, yeah, the Native Americans should not have gotten abused and tortured, and they still shouldn't. It's been 526 years, guys. It's been over half a flippin' millennium, and the abuse still has not stopped. It hasn't. It hasn't frickin' stopped. But that's that's not a problem for you. That That is a problem for me, okay? Th that's a real problem for me, but it's not one for you. What's the matter with you guys? Like, like seriously, do you, you guys just don't frickin' care? There's a problem in that. There's a huge problem in that. <laughs> This is why I don't like Donald Trump. That guy's just a freaking liar. He's like, oh, illegal immigrants need to get home. Yeah, speak for yourself, you illegal immigrant. If you really are against illegal immigration, why don't you go back to where 
your heritage comes from because it's not it is not America if it comes from somewhere else yeah okay go back if it's a real problem for you go go back to Europe go back to Africa go back to Asia do not complain about illegal immigration unless you are a Native American okay keep your mouth shut I don't want to hear one thing about it I don't I don't want to hear one thing about it this is a serious serious problem that many people do not realize it bothers me that I've been lied to by people in this country for so many for you know half a millennium that's really horrible people have been lying to their kids for over half a millennium doesn't that bother you guys even in the slightest little bit because that that bothers me lying is not freaking cool okay it's not I really don't care what the situation is well I mean certain things you should it's appropriate to lie about but that's something that is you do not lie about okay that's just something you don't lie about it's horrible you are horrible people if you keep complaining about illegal immigration and you have the ignorance and arrogance to not see that you yourself are an illegal immigrant. You, you are. You're, you're a bad person. I'm not going to wish you dead. Of course not. But I wish somebody would help you realize that what you're saying and what you're doing is lying. Lying is not... Is not right okay and that's the problem I have with Trump he just lies okay he lies about everything he do every everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie of course yes all people lie. some people lie more than others Trump is one of those people take it from somebody who's a Republican Trump is one of those people who lies okay I'm a Republican I was raised Republican okay I'm never ever supporting the Republican Party again. I will never vote Republican again. Never. In fact, this first election, this last election was the one where I was able to vote for the first time. I did not vote Republican and I will never vote Republican again because of all this stuff that's going it's really it's just strange you know it's like you you guys do not freaking care listen to what the majority of republicans have to say about donald trump about how he's a liar and he is completely unfit to be our president haven't you guys ever heard anything about what John McCain said or what George Bush said? The Bush family came out before the election and they said we are not voting for Donald Trump because he's crazy and he will screw everything up. You know, John McCain, John McCain was interviewed several times, you know, about Donald Trump and every time you know he said the same thing basically which was well no I, I would never support him I did not vote for him and he said I'm glad I didn't he you know Jeff Flake was encountered in an elevator he's a Republican who doesn't like Trump he didn't think that Kavanaugh should be investigated after those women confronted him in the elevator he said we need to have an investigation I guarantee you if John McCain were still alive and if he wasn't so sick he would have said we need to investigate this further he would have said I will not vote for Kavanaugh either way because he's been accused of this why would you guys think women would lie about that Re really you guys think those women are lying <laughs> You think they're making a false accusation? You don't realize how badly women are treated, not just in this country, throughout the world. And I'll agree it is worse in other countries. But by you guys going around, you know, saying, oh, well, they're just lying about that, that doesn't make the situation any better. That makes everything worse. You need to just shut your mouth, okay? You really don't care about your own mothers, your own aunts, your own wives, your own sisters, your own daughter, really? Your own female cousins, I mean, really? You don't care about what they've been through? Really? That's 
horrible. That is so horrible. You people are actually like that. I don't understand why you guys are like that, okay? I, I don't. I don't understand why you don't care and it's clearly not an issue for you. You guys say, oh yeah, I defend women's rights and then you appoint Kavanaugh. You want Kavanaugh to win the Supreme Court nomination. And you sit there and you say, oh yeah, I love women. I will do anything to defend them. You know, I'll stand up for their rights. I'll get in the way if they're being attacked. And yet you, you really like Kavanaugh? Really? There, there's a problem. There's a real problem there. there. There is. There's a huge problem there. You just don't care. Not to mention the number of women that accused Trump. What about Cosby? You guys think those women were lying about Cosby? You really think those 60 plus women were lying about what Bill Cosby did? Really? Bill Cosby's in jail. He's never getting out. He's never getting out because it's been proven that he did those crimes, that he did that to all those people. He, he admitted it. Okay, he, he admitted it more, more than once. More than once he admitted it. You guys, this is like, really? I don't understand why you guys are seriously still, you know, praising Kavanaugh and Trump, and some of you are still praising Cosby. I understand that black people were tortured and a lot of them were raped, you know, back during the days of slavery. That doesn't mean that they should retaliate with the same thing. We need to find peace with each other. It's not gonna happen when we have people like Cosby, Trump, and Kavanaugh out there. I mean, sure, if one person says something, then it's like, oh, well, if multiple people say something like they did with Cosby, um, I'm going with what the majority of those people say, which is, well, he did this to me and I want him locked up. That's what I say to people. That is literally what I say to them. Look, here's the nature we're in. That is what I say to them. This isn't a problem for any of you, and I do not know why. It's not. That's, this is horrible, guys. It's horrible. You know, th this is, this is another thing that happened to the real Americans. They all got, you know, severely tortured and tormented and raped. I don't, I don't see any Native American getting thrown in prison for accusations of raping people because they don't believe in that. They simply, the majority of them just do not believe in that. I'm not saying the majority of black people do either, and I'm not saying the majority of white people do either, but this isn't a problem for you guys. It's, it is a problem for you though, when you talk about illegal immigration, when you are an immigrant, you're an illegal immigrant, the whole system, you know, before the system, people really like, people basically, they just shut, they just didn't say one thing about illegal immigration because at that time they were smart enough to, you know, they were smart enough to know that it was illegal immigration, but that's what it was. They were smart enough to know that they were all illegal immigrants. That's what I'm saying to you guys. You really need to quit, you know, saying stuff about illegal immigration if you are not, you know, if you are not Native American, stop complaining about illegal immigration, okay? Nobody's gonna listen. Nobody's gonna listen to you, to you about that. I listen when people complain if it's about something reasonable, if it's about stuff like that. I just don't listen because I know that it's a lie and it's not a problem for me 
because we're all illegal immigrants. We don't, we don't even speak an American language. Do you guys realize that? We speak English. That is the language we speak, is English. That's, English is not an American language. It is a European language. You guys just don't realize that. You know what language they speak in England? English. You know what language they speak in Spain? Spanish. You know what language they speak in France? French. You know what language they speak in, Portu in Portugal? Portuguese. You know what language do they speak in Brazil? Portuguese. You know what language they speak throughout most of America? Spanish. Most American countries are Spanish-speaking countries. You know what they speak in in Canada and the United States? English. You know what they speak in Eastern Canada? French. These aren't American languages. These are European languages. I'm not saying you shouldn't learn them. You just need to realize that what we are speaking is not American. It's not, it's not American. You're not a bad person. If you wanna go learn, you know, a European language or an Asian language or a native Australian language, that, there's, no harm, there's no harm in that at all. I don't think there's any harm in that. I've got to change the battery on this, so I will be back. But you know, if you guys really have a problem with illegal immigration, then this is what I'm gonna say. All right, get all the white people out. Get, get, all, get every single non-native person out of the continent, get them, get them out. If that's, if that's really a big concern for you, then fine, start packing your bags and get out if it's really that big of a concern, because you are just feeding lies and contradiction to other people. That's not, that is not, you know, freaking cool. It's not. It's really not cool. That's horrible that you guys say that. You guys are like, oh yeah, you know, you complain about illegal immigration. Okay, whatever, you illegal immigrant. I don't want to hear you complaining about it if that's what you are, okay? You know, you are not born here legally. The system was set up by illegal immigrants. You don't realize that. You don't. You don't realize that. It's not a problem for you. Or it, I'm sorry, it is a problem for you, but it's not a problem for me. Because I realize that the system was set up by immigrants and that we're being lied to about it. That, why does this not bother you? Like, seriously, why? why? Why does it not bother you? I don't understand that. Anyways, guys, you know, that's really going to mark it for this video. Always remember, I wish you peace, okay? No, I'm not saying that because I'm religious. I'm not religious, but I'm not going to tell you you're wrong for being religious. I'm not going to wish you dead. I'm not. Unless you're a criminal, I'm not going to wish you dead, okay? I'm, I'm not. I just am not going to do that. I think that that's horrible, okay? I do. I think it's horrible. Anyways, guys, I really hope you all have a good day, and please understand that when I, that I'm only saying this to you guys because I do care about you and I do care about what's being taught and what's being taught is not what really happened. So, you know, I'll talk to you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.